Hello, my friends and enemies. It's me, Scythe, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We are continuing on with the story. Ah, yes, we're, go we're finally back to Kara. Luther! Good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? I overheard androids Zlatko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. And mutilated them. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Oh. Emergency tricks activated. So about that hour or so, huh? This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. Goodbye. Open. That's a lot of not good. What are we going to do? Maybe there's a reason oh, no. Lasko didn't use it. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. Venture on ahead and look for something. There's a big arrow right there, you dingus. Pirate's Cove. Over there. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Looks like our foot can stay. Always like when games add to that. The skeleton. This skeleton has been captured. Apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Damn you, he man. A caravan. Just like a comfy place. Fucking zone. Examine. safe. Sure, it's hunter. Yoinkus. A too strong Alice. or too weak. My arms are too tiny. Thank you, Luther. 
you incredibly big person. Thank you, Mr. Chungo. Here we go. anything better let's settle in for the night i'll get a fire going thank you kind sir detroit today uss iowa missing all android man and tips for music prize Ugh. it's got no harder soul to it It's a total of four things to look at. Offer oh, cookie. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. We're not. No, we're not getting a gun. I'll make the fire. Here. That way we won't be smoked out. Pirate's Cove. Amusement Park welcomes you. RA9. Shall take you. Sure. There's one more thing I didn't get to check, I think. Darn it. Gosh darn it. Set up bed. Pillow. Blankets. Alice? I'll talk to Alice in a moment. That's outside. idea in order to get a job, but hopefully, yeah. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Ooh. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Tuck Alice in. Turn her into a little burrito. stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. Error, error, error. This I cannot perform is a under story pressure. About a little girl who wasn't very happy 
She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then, she met a robot. Who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. Mm -hmm. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... A giant. A gentle giant. Who promised to protect friend. them. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Come on, Luthy, old buddy. Yes, of course. <laughs> Big man. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. Luther is best boy. All right, Luthy. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. But if RA9 never comes, what if he's just a story that we hmm. tell ourselves to keep each other going? That's RA9 also good. exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Kara! No, no, no. Not my child. Not my child. Protect my child. Get to my child. Protect Alice. No gun, don't shoot me. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Aww. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> Heck yeah, Luther. Luthy, my man. 
my child. Be our guest. Be our guest. Turn on, turn on, turn on. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Help, Alice. The carousel is about to begin. Lift with all of my strength. Jerry back there jumping. Hippity hoppity. That girl is now my property. Pirate's Cove. Alright. Hmm. I guess we've, there were things that I could check out at the fun fair, but. Oh well. Alright, you on. Hey, Hanky Poo. This music sucks. Get out of the car. Hello, best friend. I am Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. I'm, that's how I get to... Hey, whatever. Fucking fuck. Hey Hank, what you doing there, buddy? You drinking some more algagol? Nice view, huh? Mm -hmm. I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. Uh, you poor suicidal man. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. 
They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? You get them Some alive. scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Uh-oh. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Friend. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Bye, Hanky Poo. I love you. Well, <laughs> at least I didn't get shot. All right. I think we're moving back to Marcus. I think. Yes, I am. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcast no, 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 no. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Dang, you looking sharp, my man. Where can I get me one of those jackets? We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Access 47th floor.
Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Safe Rope School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. That's weird. Oh, no. All right. I'll, I'll be right there. Time to request access. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks, Thanks pal. for the most difficult part using the elevator I'm in forty seven Server room. Bathrooms are that away. Okay, but how do they get that up there, though? That's my question. I need your help. Thank you. Steel maintenance cart.
space stuff. Screw you. How dare you insult space? Space is so cool. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. I Leave have an idea. I can futz with the vending machinery. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Suction cups form laser saw. I am the circle man. Hello. Ladies first. Climb. Grab. Job. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Call service lift. Hello. Let's do this. Destroy maintenance door lock. Please activate. Thermite. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that? 
that doing here? No idea. What are you doing? I didn't mean to do that. to record our message. We haven't got much time. Let's stand in front of Josh. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Ew, remove skin. Ew. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Oh, I don't like those eyes. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready docile, to do everything whatever. you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! Jump. If they find him, 
They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I won't kill one of our own. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. Rip Simon. Scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of Fake demands. Fake news. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of Good us? Good old classic After news fear-mongering. Can we still trust our machines? Good old classic fear mongling from the news. Didn't get the best ending in this, but we got a half decent one. Alright, so I think that's gonna I'm gonna call it there for an episode. Hope you all have a pleasant evening and or morning, and I'll see you all next time for the next episode of Detroit Become Human. Bye-bye.